Yo, my granny used to prick the fingers back when she was picking cotton. Now I'm picking cotton shirts just for me to rock them. Black but it's effective. I think from what I've seen from my training and my experience, when you get to see and kids are exposed to the strength of the people in their community. So basically, um, she level basically brought off like the musical side to me, like poetry level. I used to write poems and whatnot, but. I didn't consider myself very good. I was very doubtful of myself. And now I got a family of like people who like encourage me, like, no, you should do this, or I like the way that sounds, you should do more of this. And like, I don't hear enough in our community to work with guardians and working with their families. It's really a lost hope. Um, I, I think that's more than anything else. I think a big part of what really pushed our, our elders uh, was that hope, that opportunity that one day things would be better. And I think because things on the surface level um, look to be one way, it gives too many of us the impression that we don't have to do this extra step or being your best and putting forth excellence is not necessary. Often, we look at the marches, the big rallies, the big instances of the assassinations and the signing of bills and the ceremonies and, and the celebration as, hey, that's when the movement started. So the movement got started uh, with, with the Emmett Till uh, murder. The movement got started with, with Rosa Parks set down on the bus. But the movement got started and really got going with, with the, the March on Washington or when King was brought to, but most of the time, those are the end stages of it. Into those practices that are more sustainable, that are more resilient than our current culture of consumption, which says, buy it and throw it away.